In September, a module the height of six double-decker buses arrived at Sellafield, bringing to an end a series of module deliveries the like of which had never been seen before. The first leg of the journey started at the InterServe Pioneer Point facility in Cheshire, where the module was loaded onto a self-propelled transporter. Moving the 27-metre, 500-tonne module on public roads involved some road alterations, the movement of street furniture and approval to use the bridge crossing over the M53 to the Manchester Ship Canal. This is where a specialist barge, the Terra Marique, was waiting for its cargo. After a sailing of 65 miles up the Irish Sea, the barge arrived on time, at high tide, on the beach next to Sellafield. Terra Marique, with its massive cargo, would rest here before the module could disembark at low tide. As dawn arrived with the tide at its lowest, preparations got underway for the next leg of the journey. The ramps were positioned and the road ahead was prepared. Terra Marique is 80 metres long and 16 and a half metres wide. It's a purpose-built vessel designed to handle loads that, like this one, are too big for road or rail. The module was shrink-wrapped in a specialist protective coating which would maintain the packaging integrity during road and sea transport. We've worked with numerous stakeholders throughout the project and in 2009, the project team received planning permission to build a steady incline up the beach, as well as a temporary bridge over the River Eam. The final leg of its journey took place on site as the module was driven to the Evaporator D facility. Just like the first leg of the journey, street furniture modifications and road closures were needed. The hard work was still not over. The module then had to be rotated to vertical. Not forgetting it's the size of six double-decker buses and weighs 500 tonnes, the rotation process was a unique challenge in itself, but was completed safely and successfully. It's been an incredibly tough challenge getting the module to site, and it's a great achievement that helps us towards completion of the UK's largest current nuclear project.